Hello, hello everyone, my name is Serge and welcome! For today guys, I wanted to go over some of the best Epic 7 resources that, in my humble opinion, every single Epic 7 player should know about. Unfortunately, a lot of these tools, websites, and pages are kind of hard to stumble upon, so unless you know someone that knows about them, like, you probably wouldn't even know that they exist, right? Uh, which is why in today's video, I'll be going over some of the ones that I consider to be the best. And uh, yeah guys, without further ado, let's get into it. So our first website that we're going to be going over is going to be Cecilia Bot, okay? And I'll be including all the links to these websites down in the description below uh, for you guys to check out on your own, okay? I'll try to go as fast as I can with this uh, website, that way I don't take too much of your time. Let's get into the Cecilia Bot and why it's so good. Uh, first and foremost, we'll check the timeline, right? So Cecilia Bot essentially is like the archive of Epic 7. Here we can see all the characters, the banners that have been released uh, throughout time, right? Uh, if you want to cross-reference a character, uh, like let's say for example, uh, you want Sahak, right? So you're like, man, like I wonder if Sahak is going to be coming soon. When was the last time that he was out, right? So you can go back and see, okay, he was around October, so it's been a couple of months. So who knows, hey, maybe he will be uh, coming soon, right? Uh, etc. Same thing with the Mystics, right? Uh, we can see what's coming. Uh, ML Ray is coming uh, tomorrow from the making of this video. And you can always just go back and same thing, see you, uh, which MLs uh, were last released, how long ago. And you know, you can uh, begin to speculate if they're going to come back again soon. Uh, aside from that, you can always see the shop rotations as well, which is amazing. Uh, the artifacts within the powder shop, same thing, the past artifact shop rotations cross-reference if you don't see an artifact that's been released for the longest time hey maybe it'll be coming back soon uh, same thing with the coin shop rotations for the ml5s and for the rgbs now tier list maker is just a fun way for you to do your you know the the best waifus sa sap tier waifus whatever uh or your best character tier list uh, you can always go ahead and do that here because I did notice that on third party websites, you know, if you go into Google, type tier list maker. Uh, not, uh, I would say every other tier list maker out there is terrible compared to just coming to Cecilia Bot. And uh, moving on from the tier list, uh, check out the camping simulator, uh, simulator, which is also an incredible tool uh, if you want to min max your uh, labyrinth runs. You can always select the characters that you want to use, the planning on using for your labyrinth runs, etc. Uh, here you can edit them, you want to remove them. And uh, here, uh, whenever you put in the characters that you use, uh, you'll be able to see how much morale it gives you. And then which uh, options within the dialogue menus to use uh, to be able to achieve the highest possible morale, right? And uh, that's pretty good. Uh, there's a few things you can mess around with here. Uh, the Nixie Labyrinth here, it allows you to see the best routes. You know, uh, I know that it's happened to me. Uh, whenever you go into a Labyrinth, uh, you halfway complete it and then you leave. Uh, whenever you come back, you're so lost, right? You don't know where to go, where are the doors, what, takes, uh, what teleport takes you where, etc. So you can always check that out here. Uh, more specifically, the Nixie uh, Labyrinth run. It also shows hell rates. So pretty, pretty, pretty damn good. Okay, that's gonna cover most of the Cecilia bot. Uh, gear scores, a whole nother topic that I don't wanna get into too much. But if you just so happen to know about gear score, what it is, uh, this is an incredibly easy tool for you to use as well. Uh, but yeah, uh, I might cover gear score in a different video. Uh, that way I can go a little bit more deep into it. But I don't wanna take too much of you guys' time, all right? Up next, we have the Epic 7 Twitch and YouTube channel, okay? So I know this might be like an obvious one, but you guys would not believe how many people do not check out the Epic 7 uh, live streams. So one of the main reasons why you want to follow and check out the Epic 7 live streams is because here's where they do um, their update live streams, right? They normally do one live stream every two weeks about what's coming, the updates, what new characters are releasing, patch notes, etc. So if you want to stay informed with what's coming, the state of the game, etc., the Epic 7 Twitch and YouTube channel uh, will always give you that. And not only that, but they also do some amazing, uh, you know, events. So they put out some amazing content out there themselves. Uh, we just recently had a content creator uh, battle uh, where they did a tournament with some of the uh, most notable content creators in the platform. And they do some cool giveaways, right? Like like a cool Christmas event they just did. 
So definitely, 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 if you want to be more involved with the Epic 7 community, uh, do not miss out on their YouTube and Twitch channels. And moving on to the third one, uh, the Epic 7 on stove website. So I put this one right after the Twitch and uh, YouTube uh, suggestion just because here is where you can see a lot more of the details about what's coming. For example, they re you know they announce a new character, etc., or new patches, new um, buffs. Uh, but they can really go too much into detail uh, within the live streams, right? Because they have a certain amount, uh, amount of time. Uh, however, in here you can always go to the developer notes. And this is where essentially is direct information from Epic 7 themselves uh, for us to be able to, you know, go through and uh, break down. For example, the most recent balance update is right here. You know, they go and post this developer notes, shows the characters that are being buffed, artifacts being buffed, uh, some system improvements and which characters it affects. And here you go, right? For Dark Cor Corvus, they go over what the character used to do and what they're doing now after the buff. So again, this is a very extensive and that's why this is so important for you to um, know that it exists. If you ever want to go back and take a double look at what's coming, what's happening, uh, you always have the Unstub website. So yeah, this website in and all is, is pretty good. Okay, moving on, uh, we have the Fribbles, okay? The Fribbles? We have Fribbles. So this website, I'll post it down below as well. Uh, this website essentially just goes over how you can download this, um, this they, obviously it's a tool. Uh, essentially you can call consider it being an app. Uh, this essentially merges with your Epic 7 account. You essentially are importing the data from your Epic 7 account into this tool, into this app. Um, more specifically, your gear and characters. And what this essentially does is, you know, it gears, uh, it, it just does everything for you, right? Uh, basically, once you install the software into your PC, the tool, uh, once you get it going, this saves you so much time gearing your characters because instead of within the game, right, going over your gear, equipping, unequipping, etc., saying, oh, you know, I kind of don't like this, this numbers are way too low, I'll go and change things up again. Uh, Fribbles saves you all that trouble, right? So in this quick little example that we can see here, uh, if you have um, a Momo, um, you can just dial in how much HP, how much speed, how much FPS you want, etc. And then you click start, and then the game goes, I mean, the, the tool goes over your entire gear. They go over a million permutations, a million different uh, combinations of gear. Uh, that you have imported onto the uh, into this tool and it gives you the best results right and then from here you can be like oh okay all oh, these pieces of gear okay cool and you can save it and then you go onto your game and then you equip the gear that essentially fribbles is telling you to equip and voila there you go that's it that's all you need to do now i know this definitely looks a little too complicated a little bit too crazy so i'll try to do a video about it as well that way i can just um let you guys know the foundation you know how to you know just get the basics um understood and you guys can you know get started with using this uh this tool for your account uh if you're early and mid game uh you don't really need to worry too much about this uh however this again it just saves you so much time moving on to the last one uh it's gonna be the epic 7 damage calculator okay so this tool is just really useful because it allows you to theory craft uh, whenever a character is about to release, or maybe you just got a new character, you don't know how to gear them, uh, etc. Right. So here you can set all the parameters of your character, and at the end of the day, it shows you how much damage is doing with critical, normal hits, and a miss, etc. And you know, it saves you time whenever you're trying to gear your character. If you if you think it's worth equipping them with this many, this much attack, this much crit damage, this much defense, etc. Uh, it's just a very efficient way of going about uh, your characters and you know thinking about how to gear them. Uh, I was able to set up a quick little example for you guys so we can go over it real quickly. So, for example, here at the top, it's gonna ask you which character you wanna essentially theorycraft with. 
So I selected Little Queen Charlotte. Here you can select the artifact. Thankfully, you know, it kind of highlights the ones that you can actually equip on them. So I'll put Hellcutter. This one, just leave it a manual. So uh, my Little Queen Charlotte has uh, just around 4,000 attack. So you can just input that here, right? Critical damage, minus around 280. Uh, here, let's say I'm theory crafting my Little Queen Charlotte to be, um, you know, an APOC killer, right? An Apocalypse Rabbit killer. So if I'm putting my Queen Charlotte against an APOC, I'll be having the elemental advantage, so check. Uh, let's say I do give my Little Queen Charlotte attack buff, so I select that, check. Uh, here you can adjust the artifact level, right? Mine is a level 21. Now turn stack, let's say it's like the 8th turn. All of my team, all of the enemy team already went. So 8 stacks on the um, Hellcutter artifact. And then target, here you can select if you want it to be a boss, right? If you're trying to build like a Wyvern killer, here you select uh, you're doing Wyvern 13. In my case, I'm going against Apox, so I'm just going to leave it blank. Uh, in, this, in this example, I'm going against an APOC with Proof of Valor, so I selected Proof of Valor. So here, essentially, target means uh, in this example it's going to be APOC. Uh, she's already going to be getting the 30% damage reduction because of Proof of Valor. Uh, I'm saying around, you know, APOC with around 1400 defense. No defense increase, no damage transfer, like let's say there's no mitigation, whatever, so you leave that zero. Uh, same thing, no increased defense, no defense break, whatever, right? It's just me going and freaking slamming APOC Rabbi, right? Uh, so here my S1 and S3 are maxed out. And here we have it, right? Here are the skill one, you know, damage multiplier, I mean damage numbers, and the S3 damage numbers. So this will tell you like, okay, you know, I can definitely kill at, you know, 20,000 HP APOC Rabbi with this build. Right? Or if you're like, oh, well, what if I actually max out my artifact, level 30? Then you'll get the new numbers with a critical hit, if you don't crit, and if you miss. So again, I don't want to go too deep into this, but again, this is another one of those tools that can definitely save you some time whenever you're building characters. And the more familiar you get with it, uh, the better and the more theory crafting you can do. But okay guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I don't wanna uh, take too long. I know a lot of my videos are like seven, 10 plus minutes long. So I just wanna leave it there. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any more questions, as always, just post them down in the comments below and I'll do my absolute best to try to help you guys out. Uh, but yeah guys, again, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you as always, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.